Hey YouTube, welcome to Master Game of VR. Today we are going to be taking a look at Xenociders Predator Planet. This is from Donuts Co. <laughs> uh, it is on Steam. It, uh, it has listed Vive and Rift, uh, though I'm going to be playing on an index, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm sure Windows Mixed Reality players, you guys always get the shaft on the list, uh, but I'm sure it would work for you just fine. It is $24.99. It released on April 22nd, 2020. So, uh, this is, uh, Xenociders is a stealth action VR shooter set on an alien planet ruled by ferocious alien dinosaur predators. So, Jurassic Park with guns? A better arc without building? Question mark? I don't know. Uh, so you crash on this planet, uh, and you have to get back into orbit somehow, you know, without getting eaten. Uh, so you hide a lot. Uh, that's basically what I got out of the Steam page. Uh, they started off their key, fisher, key features with uh, lush jungle. A lot of lush jungle. Uh, so I'm not instilled with a whole bunch of confidence right out the gate, because that doesn't seem like a key feature to me. That's, that's not important enough to listen to the key features. And it gets better. They follow that up with stealth mechanics. Okay, so obviously it's a stealth game. Uh, and not a wave shooter. They explicitly list not a wave shooter in their key features. That seems like they don't have a lot of key features to me. Uh, they double down on the lush world. They mentioned it again. Like I said, they, they say the word lush a lot. Uh, and you have weapons. Uh, they do say they pack a punch, but they just mentioned you've got weapons. Um, it's kind of a pretty pathetic key features list, to be sure, um, at least in my opinion. But hey, it's got pretty looking alien dinosaurs. So let's get in the game and shoot some. All right, here we are in game. Uh, it's very quiet, but I can hear like some faint cricket noises. The first thing that I notice is that there's a disconnect between my hand and what I see in game. Uh, what's in game slightly lags behind, and it's it's very choppy. If I'm being perfectly honest, it's very very choppy. So much so that I'm gonna restart and see if that fixes it. Right, and we're back, uh, and after disabling the Oculus VR runtime uh, and some other issues uh, and rebooting with some Windows updates, we're back, but it doesn't look like that was the issue. I still feel like there's a delay in my hand movement versus what I'm actually doing, and yeah, the game is, is not super performant at the moment. I turned my head too fast, uh, and I can see the black crescent of, of the screen trying to, to load, um, and it just it doesn't feels super great right here. Uh, so I don't know what... How do I get into settings? Um, so again, it did say that it does not support the index. Um, so, there is nothing that I can do here. Uh, so let's try and create a binding. Okay, so I've got a pair of bindings. There were a couple uh, shared. Uh, one, this one is by Timmy1291, I believe was the name. Let's see if it works. Hey, look at that, it works. Uh, the default bindings for uh, the index controllers were completely empty. So the dev just hasn't gone and done that. So we've got normal, beautiful, Xeno, performance. Oh my god, that's, that's horrible. Um... Uh, Normal. Uh, I mean, I'm having performance issues, so I'm going to stick with normal for now. Uh, language, English, movement, smooth. Uh, I've got teleport and smooth. I don't like how that fades into being. It's, I, I, I don't like it. Uh, snap turning, smooth turning, snap turning. Uh, tunnel vision on move. Okay, that's nice that it's off. Tunnel vision on turn. Degrees, I like it. Sound effect, ambience, and vibration on or off. I like it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and I don't know why there's new game and start, but let's do new game. Xenociders. Predator planet. Okay. Uh, moving around. Move. Use left controller. Press the movement. Uh, controls to sprint. Turn. Use your right controller. If you feel motion sickness, please exit the main menu. Adjust the VR comfort options. Uh, I don't like the blink on the snap turn, so I'm going to try to never ever use that. Okay, so do I have... I have a compass. What does the compass tell me? It vibrates. The compass vibrates, so... Um... I don't know if it's... Oh! It's vibrating when I'm next to something. I wonder if that's ammo. Um...
I don't know what I'm grabbing. I don't think I'm grabbing anything. I don't know what that is. I can't really see it. Alright. Well, let's just move on. Uh, so far, very little instruction. Uh, it is telling me to go that way, though. There's a little bit of something. Didn't really tell us what happened. But I don't even really remember what that said, to be honest. I should probably go back and, and look at it. What did that say? I'm gonna feel like a derp when I go over there and be like, Oh yeah, that's what that said. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh yeah, it was just moving around. That's right. There's no... Informative anything on that. At least we do have like a compass goal. That water noise is. Wow, that's loud. Oh, our shuttle was, uh, our tiny little shuttle was not as tiny little shuttle as I thought it was. Um, so we can go up. I'm feeling like we go up. Even though it's a little counterintuitive to go away from the thing. That icon looks very weird. It's, I don't know. It feels like it's it's in the wrong Z position. It's a minor thing, but it's it's a little weird. The jungle is very lush. I will give them that. It is a very lush jungle. Is this our... Like, what? what is this? Did we crash so hard that, um... That rock grew around us? <clears throat> A very, very small... Very small whatever that was. Grabbing things! Stick-based VR controller. Aim, press and hold your controller's grip button. Oh, dude. What's wrong? Five. Aim and press the trigger to pick up. Press the grip button to release. Uh. Okay. Where'd, where'd my guns go? Um. There. There. No. Detected. So I get there's a threat detected. What the fuck do I do about it? How do I gun? Where is gun? I have I have his no gun. Oh shit! Well fuck you, dude. Where's the gun? What gun? Yeah, no, I see the threat detected. Where are they where are they saying this gun is? Oh, there, that gun. Community bindings are failing me. It is pulling the trigger, but it's grabbing this so weird. Come on, stop throwing the thing. There we go. So it was grabbing it in the wrong position. So yeah, these these bindings are not the best bindings. Uh, I would encourage you to go make your own bindings. Uh, where do I stick this? Can I holster this? Yeah.
Use the taser gun to stun foes for a short time, hopefully long enough to get away from them. Okay. So the problem with these bindings is that Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to redo these bindings. I'm gonna have to make my own bindings. Because these are these are just kinda bad. Oh hey, look, we got a we got a menu there. And I don't know if it's the person who made the bindings or if it is the game using the same button for multiple things. A new objective, exit the facility. All right, I'm gonna take a look at the bindings really quick again. All right, so I used the other bindings and the other bindings are the public bindings for index controller in Xenociders. Uh, so it doesn't have a, a person to give credit for, uh, but it's still weird in that See, pressing grip again, if you let go and then repress grip, it drops. Like, I don't I don't get this, but um, I think that's game design and not bindings design. Um, so I just won't open up my hand. Okay, so there is a thing out there. I can see it on the... It's that way. I will give the game props for the jump scare, though. But I'm expecting it now. In stealth mode, the areas that shroud you are highlighted. Click the right controller stick to go into stealth mode. It is not the stealth mode button. This is the stealth mode button. Alright, so the things that hide me are here. Protected. I don't know how fast I can move in stealth. Oh, it's the camera? Oh, it's the camera. The camera's pissed off at me. Why is the camera pissed off at me? Threat detected. Threats and point of interest. There are Xenosaurs nearby. When empty-handed, hold your right controller next to your right ear and press the trigger button. In scan mode, stare at a Xenosaur to tag it and track its position. What am I tracking? Like, I see the, the Monster Hunter tracks, which are pretty cool, but I don't see a Xenosaur the track. You can't stealth down the stairs, which is interesting. Um, so if we... It's saying there's a Xenosaur, like, right down there? Where is it saying the shit is? And who built this facility? If we crash our shuttle here, who built this whole facility? Are they in there? Uh, open the command center gate. Oh, that doesn't sound good. In stealth mode, the areas uh, that shroud you are highlighted. Okay. Yeah, no, no one want this. Alright, what did it say? What did it say to click? Okay, go back up to this and read this again. In scan mode, stare at a Xenosaur to tag it and track its position. All right. Am I staring at that to tag its position, even though it's not a Xenosaur? 
I'm gonna go with yes since it's got the thing on it. Alright, and I'm gonna want to stealth my ass over this way. I don't know what I'm stealthing from at the moment. I guess we just need to quickly hurry up and get through. I hear things. I don't see things. That that whatever that noise is is annoying. That like little droid noise? Super annoying. Alright, what's in here? Threat is detected. Everywhere is apparently a threat. Oh, yeah, Jurassic Park. Okay. What do we got over here? Um Nothing? Can't get in that. Alright. Are those crystals considered xenosaurs? I guess so. I guess those are considered hostile. I'm good. I'm good. It's very, very adamant that it tells us about the detected threats. But these plowers, the flowers, whatever the hell they are, the, the flowers being detected, the plants. Oh shit. Okay, there was a thing in there. Can you please stop yelling, sir? Something is yelling at me. Oh, there we go. We got one. I mean, the game mechanics so far, I like them. Um, it's just a level of polish is a little lacking. Oh, no, I'm still, I'm still. What is it shooting at? Is it shooting at me? I look like I have health. Is it shooting at him? Why would I trust these turrets if they couldn't even detect me sneaking through the weeds? Okay. Um I don't know about that. Um I'm stealth. I'm hidden. You shut that diamond up. Let's go this way over here. It does seem very one solution, not very open here. But it is doing a good job at like teaching mechanics. A goodish job. It could be better. But it also could be much worse. Oh. So I'm curious, does that it does not remove the marker from the other one. So I wonder how many of those we can have marked. What if that noise is me? noise I keep hearing. Is it the guns? Okay. Restore the defense systems. Okay. It's gonna be home base. This is this safe? I doubt it. Healing stations! I don't think I need those. Uh, resources. Scrap metal and biomass are used to buy new equipment at the replicator. 
Find a knife and destroy the metal containers and the glowing vegetation around the base. Then use the resources with the replicator machine. Okay, I like that. Uh, healing stations. Pull the lever and stay in the healing range to heal gradually. Let's just see what this looks like. Yeah. We have healed. From the, the little bug bite. Oh, hey, my hand is still on this thing. Um, we have healed from the tiny little... Okay, that's a button. I'm not going to go do the button yet. It's probably what turns on all of these things, but... There's other stuff to do... Until then... Yeah, I see that threat. Uh, so that's that's what I need to do and where I need. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, which is probably going to be a mistake. They're probably going to find their way in. I should learn from Jurassic Park and not underestimate the dinosaurs. I can jump off the edge. I was curious about that. So we got glowing biomass. We have a, a whole bunch of metal containers to scrap. Uh, here's our... It takes nothing to make. So we have crafting. Why didn't they list crafting? Why didn't they list crafting in their key features? Okay, and I don't know where this goes, but let's go ahead. And... I think I, did I oh, kill myself on that? Why do I keep dropping it? <clears throat> wow, wow, okay. Fine. Will this float? It will float. It will float. Lacking a lot of polish. And waggle the wind. Well, well, waggle the wind on controllers. But on, did I say on controllers? On containers. Containers is the C word I meant. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. It doesn't seem to do anything extra to actually have any velocity, so just waggle at it. Just waggle at it. It's fine. So, so I like some of the stuff. I like some of the stuff, but it feels like it feels like there's 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 polish that's lacking. What does this say? Is this the same biomass thing? Oh, uh, back main weapon. Reach over your right shoulder, left shoulder. Reach your primary weapon. Front belt ammo clips. Hips, handguns. Left shoulder knife. Right shoulder, stun grenades. Okay, so I can put the knife there. Oh, hey, they, they, they gave us knives. And now we have all kinds of knives. Where do I get the knife from? Oh, right here. And we can actually hold multiple knives. So that's cool. All right, I like that. I think. Okay, no, that just... Drops it. Ha! Wow, that was really effective, but where'd the knife go? So, doing a throwing motion and pressing the trigger, it's, it's very awkward, it's very clunky. Trigger pressed. Trigger pressed and let go. There we go. But I lose the knife doing that. It seems like it's expended by throwing it like that. And then the weird grabbing issues with the bindings makes it even kind of clunkier. Did this grow back? Did the biomass grow back? It did. Okay. So biomass grows back. Obviously the crates do not, I assume. So biomass is renewable. 
That is interesting to know. Let's see. Can we... What is this? We have explosive grenades, which is 40 and 40. Everything takes scrap, so we're still limited by scrap. Taser gun is the weapon of choice for incapacitating uh, Xenos long enough to lose them. Why would I want to incapacitate them when I can kill them? Uh, limited blast power. Detonation will attract Xenos. Uh, universal ammo. So ammo powers all guns available at this replicator. And then we've got... Uh, I guess we can't do this? Do we not have the biomass? We don't have the biomass. We need 50 biomass to make an actual weapon. Uh, voodoo, entry-level sniper rifle, semi-automatic rifle. Don't get surrounded, okay. Uh, that packs a close-range punch. That looks like a combat shotgun. Uh, the Maras is ideal to finish off weakened Xenos. Doesn't require any ammo, but it's prone to overheating. That's interesting. Uh, and then we have the plasma energy bow. All right, so we are going to need to capture, grind out some of this, uh... This biomass. What is that? I didn't even ask for you. Why are you there? I don't know what... Because I'm not... I'm not grabbing it. My hand is way up here. What was that noise? Okay. Uh, let's finish collecting this garbage. The barrels are the worst. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to excuse the waggle to win. Like, this, this mechanic in general, I'm using a knife to do this? It, it just, it doesn't make sense. I like that there's crafting um, and and resource gathering, um, but I like that. I don't I don't know about that in the slightest. Smack that barrel ass. All right. Uh, do I have enough now to build a thing? Let's see. So I don't know how much biomass this is actually giving me. I've got 80 now. Okay. So it's giving me 10 biomass per thing. That should be enough to craft a main weapon. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, I want this guy. Though I probably should have gone, gone with, for the, uh, the pistol. And this actually looks like a 3D printer. It looks like they took a 3D printer model and then just beat it up and made it sci-fi. Alright. And we do have... Alright, we've got a laser, we've got iron sights, we've got a compass, we've got two-handed grip. It's pretty good looking. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. 40. That was... Okay. Is this the taser? Is this the pistol that I have? I think it might be, but I don't see... I mean, I guess that... No, that doesn't look like the picture at all. I'm assuming that's what this is. Is that a safe assumption? Do we think? Or is it this... No, it's not that... It uses the same pistol image. So I, I, don't, I don't know if I have the taser pistol or not. I'm going to put that there for now. I think I'm good on that. I'm not going to waste too much time on that. Yeah, no, I know. You guys see me. It's great. You're very observant. You haven't noticed the, the great big hole in the wall that could let you just walk straight through security. We're going to ignore that. All right. So let's move up. Um, I kind of want to go in there, but I'm going to go do the, the appropriate mission first. Let's turn the security back on before these things do learn how to open doors. Hopefully we get to see this thing get blown the fuck up. Yeah, go say hi to my little friends. No, it's, no, it's cool, you can go walk. Enter the command center. Buddy! Buddy! Look at my girl right here. 
Come say hi. There we go. Good job. I like these things. I wonder if you get biomass from the uh, Xenosaurs. That name too, Xenosaur. Play. Right. At least the biomass grows back uh, fairly quickly too. All the scrap is mine. Oh, this didn't open until I turned the security on. Bloop. Where did all of this come from? Where did this command center come from? If we just crash landed here. On Predator Planet. Alright, so I guess... Where the hell did we go? Find your way. We won't tell you where to go in Xenociders. Open your map. Point the right index finger and press the large radar on your left hand. Uh, place beacons. With your right index finger, find points of interest and place beacons on the location to set a waypoint for you to follow. Uh... How do I do this? Right index finger and press the large radar in your left hand. I'm I'm pressing it. I see nothing happening. I'm pointing. I'm pointing. Not doing anything. Look. 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 There is no map. There is there is no map. I am doing all of the things and there is no waypoint anything. Hey, buddy. Hey. I can not, like, grab you or bury you or anything? Okay. So... Probably... I don't know where that went. Can I harvest? I cannot harvest. Can I harvest this one? That one was difficult to harvest. Okay. So maps don't work. Um, I wonder if that thing will shoot me. Probably will. Exploring the planet. Every time you capture a base, your position is saved, and you can travel back to it at any time by using your map. <laughs> Use your map to find a way to reach the orbital elevator. I don't have a map. Danger! Teleporter status! Okay. So, this place is safe. Threat is detected. It'd be really great if I had a map function as a map. So we've got a healing station, we've got a crafting station. Huh. We've got a wonderful ocean out there. Alright. Um so not having the map is really gonna hamper like everything. How do I I can't map. Why can't I map? Again, it does say index unsupported, so, you know, I guess I have to... I, I can't really exceptionally fault them for that, since they do say the index is not supported. Um, but why? Why isn't the... Why isn't the index supported? That doesn't make sense to me. Alright, so... Alright, so this is now mine, and it's not going to shoot me. I assume. I hope. Please don't shoot me, Bertha. Hey, there you. Okay. That apparently is not biomass. Hey there, buddy. Hey there. 
Running, 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 running. I'm running. I'm running. Is it not following me? Yeah, come on. Hasty human. Hasty human over this way. Come into the... Come into the... Yeah. Yeah, you see me, don't you? No, I'm right here. I'm right here. Look. Hey, stupid. Yeah, come on. Fill up your triangle. Diamond. Whatever shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Please shoot him. Please shoot him. Please shoot him. Please, please shoot him. Oh, fuck. Ow, ow. Shoot him harder. How did you... Can I biomass you? I mean, I can chop him up, and it's I'm, I'm doing something, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get any biomass out of him. No, oh, he disappeared for a second. Okay, no biomass out of this guy. All right, so that answers that question. Let's go heal, since the stupid turret didn't actually, uh, you know, kill the thing. I was expecting a much quicker death. For, 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 you know, that thing, not for me. All right, so we have an elevator and a pipe that goes to the elevator. So I guess that's where we need to get to. And it would really help if I could, you know, do something with a map here. What threat? Oh, that's a threat. Supposedly we have weapons that pack a punch, though. What does happen if we try and kill this thing? This does not pack enough of a punch. We are so dead. So headshots are a thing. You're dead. Okay. Don't fight the dinosaurs. <laughs> Your weapons do not punch pack I'm dead and I can't speak. Uh, your weapons don't pack that much of a punch. Oh, this is a cloning chamber. Okay. Stand back from the cloning chamber. All right. So I still have all of my things. Uh, this guy is back. Okay, so this is the stun gun. Yeah, come here. Come on! Stop yelling at me and come fight me. Why are you... What is it doing? Stop yelling and come here! No. That didn't work like I wanted it to. Shoot him! He's not dead! Did I get biomass for that? 
I don't know what I got from that, but I got something out of that. So, I do have to judge this on like a $25 game. And I have to say, at the moment, even just excluding the difficulties that I've been having with being on an index, and you know, taking into account index not supported, just the quality of the game so far has been, eh, I don't know, I don't know about $25. Let's actually sneak by. I like the skybox though. The skybox is pretty cool. What are those things flying around? Are those butterflies? They look like butterflies. Okay, so there's butterflies flying around in, in the sky. We've got a reading rainbow. Um, so staying away from those things. Where? Where am I now? Stay out of the light. Just guessing. They didn't say anything explicitly about staying out of the light, but you know, I've played a couple of stealth games in my day. Light is usually bad. Oh, hey, look, comet, meteor, whatever. Um, let's see. Can we sneak by this dude, who apparently has no sense of smell whatsoever? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. Why are they... What is going on here? Stop! Yes, you're stunned. You're stunned now too. dead here. Oh my god, what are you doing? I'm gonna die. Again. Okay, so there's containers there that I could open up. Alright, he still full on sees me. Like, I'm hiding. I'm in the shiny, I'm in the shiny stuff. He just fucking knows I'm here, doesn't he? At least he's stupid. Oh, so it's just tracking them forever. Okay. I don't know... How I am supposed to stay hidden if they're walking like straight up to me? Yeah, and see the grass isn't helping. It's not really. Yeah, 
guess I can't stay still. This is where stealth games get me. I don't have the patience to like wait on them to go move and fuck off and do whatever they're whatever whatever else they're supposed to be doing. Yep, got those two tagged now. I just wanna go. You know what, let's well they're doing their thing. Let's harvest this stuff over here. I mean, just this waggle to win right here is kind of enough to be like, uh, there's the quality of the game. That's, that's, that's the level of game we're getting out of this. Um, so I guess we could go back that way, but I wish I had a map. Okay, it looks like this one has moved. There's a lot of comets shooting through the air. I really feel like this guy's gonna see, hear, smell, whatever me. I really want to know what those. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 Oh! Oh! Okay. Right. Well. This is a fun place. This is a super fun place. I don't know that... I don't know that I care to keep playing. It's... It's not really doing it for me, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um... Let's see if we can go this way. There's another way to go. I like that it's open and it's not, like, gonna hold your hand. Uh, but I do need, I do need mechanics to actually work. And this could be, this could be related to, uh, the index, but there's no button presses here, so I'm not entirely sold on that idea. Yeah, and he just already knows I'm here. Fuck him. I think, okay, that is biomass. I'm getting biomass from killing these guys. How about shooting that? Okay. I don't know if that biomass is enough to warrant shooting them. At least it eject ejects the mag for me. Oh, but I still have to. That. Okay, let's go heal. We should go heal. Okay. We don't need no stinking knife. Each one of these is, what, 10? I feel like there were 10 with a knife. Yeah, it's me. Don't shoot me. I don't know how you know it's me, but you do, so don't shoot me. Okay. Let's grab... Okay. Now this isn't working. This was working before. 
All right, well, um, yeah, if I can't replicate things, I can't play. So if you own an index, this is definitely a no. Because it, it, again, it doesn't support it. I don't know why, but definitely not supported. Let's just, uh, I mean, let's go back to the other one and see if the other one still works. Is it something that has broken with the game? Or is it just straight up that crafting machine? You know what? I don't think I can go. Can I go back? I think I should be able to go back. Let's see. Nope. It is broken. Cannot go back. So, I have no way to craft anything. I have no way to do anything. I can't map. Um, it's just broke to hell. Uh, I will try restarting real quick and see if I close and reopen the game, if something unglitches out. Uh, but if, if it doesn't, then I'm just going to go ahead and end here and I'll make sure to mention that in the outro. So uh, I'm just going to hang tight with Bertha here. Uh, we've got the plants that regrow. Um, oh, I didn't even see that. That's really fucking cool. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna, we're gonna hang out here, and, uh, we're just gonna live here. You know, dinosaurs roam up, you know, we'll get meat that way, we'll live in the jungle, we don't need to get back to orbit, fuck it, you know? We've got plenty of plants, we got plenty of animals coming up through here, um, and as long as Bertha's alive, I'm safe, so let's just end it here. All right, so once again, the Steam page does not list the index as being supported. Why? I don't know, but it's definitely points off for not supporting 10% of the market uh, and one of the uh, higher end headsets. It, it just, it doesn't make sense to me at all. Uh, outside of the baffling lack of index support, uh, I'll be ignoring most of the things that could potentially be because of the lack of index support uh, and me using that headset. So Xenociders gets a buy on the map issue, replicator issue, the weird bindings that are out there from the community, uh, because that's not under control, but mostly, mostly. Uh, that doesn't mean their choice for item holding mechanics aren't going to be on my list. Uh, that's not the bindings fault, that's the devs fault for configuring it that way. The people who made the bindings just have to work around it. Uh, so let's start with that. The bindings for interacting with the world, you know, one of the greatest things about VR is that I can reach out and grab something and, and interact with it. Uh, one of the one of the best things about VR, it's garbage here. It's just straight garbage. Um, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's it's pretty bad. The weird kind of toggle system, it's it's just bad, and it leads you to fumbling your weapon uh, more often than not. And there are so many other titles out there that have no issues with this that do it so much better. Um, it's very hard to overlook here. Uh, even while I was using uh, an, an unsupported headset, like I don't, the way the bindings looked, if you go explore the bindings for the game, uh, it looks like there is just, it's it's basing it off the grip button, uh, and both the Oculus and the OG Vive have grip buttons, and I imagine it works the exact same way. I just, I can't, it, it was not good. It was not good in the slightest. Um, which, caveat, that may be due to the index, but I feel like that's a design decision that's just bad. Uh, so moving on from that, graphically the game was okay. Uh, I wasn't blown away as, I wasn't as blown away as you would expect with the number of times the word lush was used on the Steam page. They say lush a lot on the Steam page. Um, it was pretty enough. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it was, it's, it's, it's pretty enough. Um, it definitely felt like an indie title, though. You know how it's just got that look and feel that says this isn't a AAA game? I don't know if it's lighting or shaders or... I don't know what it is, but there's just something that says this is not a high-end, like, highly polished quality title. And it has that sort of feel to it. Um, so visually, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Audio-wise, a lot of the noise is really grated on me. The raptor noises, when they're screaming at me, were a bit annoying. The 
weird bot noise at the beginning that just kept blaring and going off that was super annoying uh and just uh, there wasn't there weren't many sounds that i was like yeah okay that sounds good the ambient noise like the crickets and stuff and whatever noises that are, there are in the background are are fairly good uh the the wave noises seems pretty loud to be honest um but you know i can't that's it's not that's not horrible it just seems uh imbalanced compared to the other noises i'm not like right on the shore it doesn't feel like it should be that loud um so just like a polish on the the noises and, and making them better i wasn't impressed with the sounds um gameplay wise Xenociders feels like a very basic, low-quality stealth game. Um, it needs either more mechanics explained, uh, or it's difficulty tuned a bit. Uh, you're thrown into the deep end right out of the tutorial area, and either I was missing some mechanics, or that was a bit too much with too few tools to deal with it. If I were to continue to play, uh, I would likely find myself shooting and looting biomass, to keep myself in ammo and hope that that was sustainable because I also wasn't finding scrap and scrap didn't seem to be uh, something that was uh, renewable scrap seemed to be a very finite resource so that might be the limiting factor on whether or not I could shoot my way through the game uh, I probably wouldn't go stealth just because the stealth didn't feel rewarding especially when you're so easily seen when you're supposed to be hidden you're in the grass, you're in stealth mode, you're where it tells you to be, and the raptors just sort of look dead at you, and their little bar fills right up, and what can you do other than, like, leave the grass and go to the one behind you? I mean, that, that worked once. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because that's super unintuitive. Super unintuitive. Um, and just stealth games in general um, sort of fall into that. Um, I don't have the patience for them. Uh, but this felt this felt different from that. It didn't feel the same lack of patience. It felt like, okay, well they can just they can just freaking see me. Um, it didn't seem set up in a way that was meant for me to succeed. And I'm okay with difficult games as long as they seem fair and balanced. Uh, and I was doing what the game told me to do and still being seen. So I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm whining, but at the same time, it also just didn't feel right or feel good it didn't feel rewarding the stealth so yeah um i still haven't even gotten into the waggle the wind knife harvesting uh, i like the idea of a harvest craft mechanic uh but the actual implementation feels very low effort very low quality very low polish uh the game overall felt like it had very little polish to it this isn't an early access title it's a fully released 25 dollars game i expect more polish and and xenociders fails to deliver anything with waggle the wind no matter what it is you're gonna get knocked for the waggle the wind uh and knife harvesting all of that scrap is just kind of silly it's it's kind of ridiculously silly uh to a point of it goes past suspension of disbelief so and and, and just the overall if everything else was polished and that was the only weird thing it would be better but there's just an overall lack of polish with the game uh, there are fairly frequent updates, uh, however, with the most recent being one week ago from the time of this recording. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn on this because this probably should have hit early access first. But they are updating the game fairly regularly. Um, it was almost every day for every other day for a, a little while, and they've slowed down to roughly once a week. Uh, but the game hasn't been out too long, so we'll see if they keep up that pace. If they keep up that update cadence and they can actually uh, polish this up, then then yeah, it might be good in a couple of months. Uh, but this definitely should have hit early access first and given a few months uh, to simmer and get player feedback before uh, fully launching at full price. Uh, hopefully a few major patches down the road, this will be in a much better state. For now, though, Xenociders is going to be a not recommended. Uh, just go ahead and wait and, and see in a couple of months. Check the update history if they're still updating it. Uh, and a number of the things that I've, I've listed have been addressed. Then, yeah, maybe go ahead and, and try it. It's, 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 a, it's a borderline game, but it veers a little too heavily into the not recommended. That is going to uh, wrap up my look at Xenociders. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know what you thought of the game, if you own it, if you play it, 
Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions, or just, you know, if you just want to chit-chat, drop a line down in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.